Today I'm going to review a power station that I received. It's called a Flashfish A601 and it's this one right here. It's um, 510, 540 watt hour and 600 watt AC uh, continuous and 1200 watt surge. I'm going to show you what feature it has and we'll do a capacity test on it to see the efficiency on the AC side and the DC side. Here it is up close. This is what it comes with. You have a manual, an AC charger, and a car charger. It looks to be a very simple manual. It's only about three or four pages. Here's the device, the unit up close. You have three barrel plug, uh, one car charge, one car uh, adapt plug, you have two USB-C and they're, they're 100 watt. You have three to USB-A. Uh, this one is the fast charging, this is regular charging. Um, but you can use the USB-C which is 100 watt, which is fast charging too. Then you have six AC outlet. Uh, looks like three on top has ground and three on the bottom just has hot and neutral, no ground. Then you have the inlet charger here. This is where you plug in the AC and DC and solar charging. You also have a uh, wireless charging. Um, it's 1500 watt. I'm, I'm sorry, 15 watt. Then you have an LED back here. Looks like uh, just a big light. Let's go ahead and turn it on. You press the power button right here. Just press it once, you don't have to hold it. Uh, looks like my camera is flickering, but um, it looks fine on here, but it's only on the camera. It looks like it's flickering. It shows a 71% battery left, zero watt, because we're not plugging anything right now. Uh, it's got the output here, USB-A output. And if you want to use the outlet, you turn on the AC and that will turn it on. Um, from the manual it says that these does not turn off automatically so you will have to turn it off manually. It doesn't even if you don't have anything plugged in it does not turn off automatically so you have to turn it off manually. Just press this button. So just hold the AC button actually. There we go. It turns off and you have to DC also has its own power button. Press it once and it turns on. And it says 600 watt um, continuous. Um, let me go get a little dryer and see if it can run a hair dryer. I have a hair dryer plug into it. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's turn on the AC first. And let's put it on the lowest setting here on my dryer. It looks like it's already pulling some wattage, four or five watt. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So on the low setting, it's about 372 watt and it's pulling it just fine. Let's see if I can go higher. And it looks like it tripped it. So, um, so it I couldn't tell if it hit 600 watt or not, but it looks like it did trip it and it turns off the power. Okay, it actually turned it off the whole unit. And then let's go ahead and turn AC back on. Put it on the lowest setting here. So it actually hit 400 watt. Let's go ahead and turn it on high here. Okay. And it stopped. So it looks like it's about 600 continuous like it says. Because it stays at 800 for about two seconds. 
Um, it did say 1200, it's his peak. So that looks about right. All right, let's, um, let's test the, um, this outlet here, the car outlet. I have a portable fridge we're going to plug it into. Here's my portable fridge right here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. A very good tight fit. I like that. It's just, it's not loose. And let's go ahead and turn on a DC. And that actually turns on my fridge. Let's go ahead and set the temperature on this. Put it on the lowest setting, trying to get it down there. Okay. So I'm 20 degrees and it's pulling about 40 watt. Yep, so my fridge is running. Uh, I'm not sure what the max amp on it or max watt. Let's look at the manual real quick. DC output 10 amp. So that means 120 amp, 120 watt max. 10 amp. So the max you can do on DC is 120 watt, which is fine. I don't think you should be running anything higher than that. Perfect. And you can hear the AC, I mean the uh, fridge running. Let's see if we can run both because it, it did say that you can run all 17 outlet at the same time. Let's go ahead and plug my dryer back in. Dryer is plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on the lowest setting. Oh, you need to turn on AC first. There we go. And it's running about 400-ish watt right now. That's with DC and the AC running. So it can run both at the same time, so that's good. Now while that's running, let's go ahead and turn on the lights in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. Let's see if it charge the phone actually. Yes, it does charge the phone. That works perfectly. It says uh, 23 minutes to fully charge. So wireless charging works. AC is plugged in, DC is plugged in all at the same time. Let's go ahead and turn on the LED in the back. LED works too. And it's all at, running at the same time. Dryer is still running. This is still charging. Fridge is still working. Uh, let's see what the light does. So you got a second level brightness, a third level brightness, and looks like SOS. Perfect. So when you have a lot of power running, um, there is a fan actually internally. You can hear the fan run. So it looks like when it ramps up, the fan actually runs, actually turns on to cool the internal down. With, every, with everything unplugged, um, just turning on the DC and AC, looks like it does use a little bit of wattage, a little bit of power, it's about three watt. So our next test, uh, we go ahead and let's fully charge it back up to 100%, and we'll do a AC capacity test and a DC capacity test. Let's go ahead and plug the AC in. AC is plugged in, AC charge is plugged in. Looks like it's wrapping up. It says that it charges at 200 watt. And it looks like it's going up, still climbing. Um, it's charging at 78 watt. Not sure why it says 200 in the manual. But it's showing 78. It could be because it's already at least halfway full. Let's see what the adapter says on here. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 
100 watt max on it so so this adapter doesn't do 200 watt I believe the max charging on this is 200 watt but the AC charger adapter is only 100 watt and this one shows 80 watt charging so maybe that's close to it just 100 max charging on the AC okay we'll let that fully charge up to 100% and then we'll do the capacity test on it and we'll come back to it it's fully charged now that actually took several hours so that was probably five hours or so just a charge from 66% to 100% all right so let's go ahead and unplug the AC on it and what I have here um, I use a barrel plug from the DC side goes into my shunt that's also connected to my meter here and I also have this here as my load so this would be the load I can adjust the the, uh, the wattage and the amp on it see to, um, just to you want to change the draw on it so let's go ahead and turn on DC actually turn the power back on and turn on DC and it's on it looks like it's blinking there we go so right now it's 13.15 volt um, it's reset energy zero watt hour current zero zero and this will be my load here this is also reset to zero um, I don't really trust this meter it's been not as accurate lately um, so I'm going to go by this one but we'll look at both but this one is more accurate so I can go ahead and adjust the draw on it let's crank it up slowly okay let's do one amp you see the voltage is sagging it went from 13 volt down to 12.7 So that's one amp right there and it's 12 watt at one amp let's see what we can do two amp The 2 amp puts it, it sacked down 11.9 volt and that's 23 watt it's pulling and you can see here this is also reading about 2 amp 26 watt so we'll let that run until it shut off and then we will see it's showing here it's running 25 watt so that's close so we'll let it run until it shuts off and then we'll see what the uh, watt hour is Oh, and I just actually noticed that the reading are different. This is 13 volt, and this one is 11.9 volt, about uh, 12 volt. So this is actually not that accurate. Um, that's actually the reason why I'm not going to go by this meter. I will actually go by this meter. This is reading uh, 13 volt, and I think that's about right. And it looks like it's already one watt hour. So we'll come back when it uh, sh when it shut off and see what the watt hour is. It's been about 15 hours and it looks like it's shut off. Let's see how much um, watt hour it used. Let's go ahead and plug this in and charge it back up. And we'll turn on DC. And stop this from blinking. All right, it used up 516 watt hour. So 516 watt hour and it's rated at 540 watt hour so that's about 95.5 percent efficiency that is really good actually um, I don't think I ever um, tested a battery pack that's um, getting over 90 percent and this one here is getting 498 watt hour which I don't go by this because I don't think it's that accurate I use this meter which is a little better 
So let's go ahead and do the um, AC capacity test. Um, but first we're gonna have to charge it back up to 100%. So when it's back up to 100%, we'll do the AC part. Okay, now it's uh, fully charged back up. So let's go ahead and uh, do the capacity test on the uh, AC side. I have my meter here plugged in into this cord and into here. And also one thing, I just realized that it's 110 volt. Um, so it's a little bit lower. Um, it's still a standard um, American voltage, um, but typically it's 120 like at a house. But, on, but here it's a 110, which should be fine. So let's go ahead and plug in my load. So my load would be this 40 watt light right here. And as you can see, it's pulling about 39. Oh, let's reset my meter real quick. Now the meter is reset. Let's go ahead and turn on the uh, light. Let's turn on. And let's look and see what this is reading. So showing is pulling about 31 uh, watt. On here is showing is pulling about 39 watt. So we'll let this run until it drain out and then we'll come back and see what the uh, kilowatt hour is. So right now it's at zero. All right. All right, so it looks like it uh, finished. It did drop down to zero percent. Um, I had to plug in the charger to bring it back on. And we can see here and get the light in here. So it's about 410 watt hour. Um, it ran for 13 hours. So 410 watt hour, that is about 76% efficiency. So it's actually much less than uh, the DC side. Uh, DC was getting um, 95, I believe. And this is only getting about 76 efficiency. Okay, so all in all, it's actually a pretty good power station. Um, it's very basic, uh, which is all you need to use. Uh, you, don't, you don't need anything fancy. Um, there might be a couple of stuff that's, um, that's different from other power stations. This doesn't have a time that tells you how much minutes or hours it's got left to use. Um, other power station I've seen, it does tell you that. And um, it only has one input charging. Uh, so that means you can only use just one input, either the AC charger, the car charger, or the solar. I've seen some where you can actually add more to charging. Um, and also, it only does about 80 watt charging, so it's not fast charging. So when you use the AC charging, it only goes up to about 85 watt of charging. But it does, it does say that on the solar, you can get up to 200 watt charging. I don't have a big solar to test it out right now, but with AC charging, it's not fast charging, but that's not a deal breaker. All in all, it's a pretty good power station. Um, you can take it out camping, you can power your lights. Um, I powered this light for about 13 hours, so that's way more than um, what you need overnight. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thank you.